Welcome to our kitchen. Today we're gonna be making a homemade pasta with brown butter sage. To get started, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take a cup of semolina, we're gonna take a cup of a high gluten flour, and we're gonna just sprinkle in a teaspoon of salt. We're just gonna lightly mix this. Now the reason that we use both a semolina and a high gluten flour mix is because we're trying to go ahead and build a nice protein structure. So we're just gonna mix it and then we're gonna form a bowl right in a nice little well right in the center. And we're gonna add our half a cup of water and then two eggs. And if it rolls off the board, don't worry. We're gonna make a mess anyway. And then slowly add in flour into the center to form a paste. And then we're just gonna keep kneading this to form a dough. gonna get dirty. That's half the fun of it. And as we're working it, we're just gonna turn it over on itself. And we're gonna just knead it for three minutes. And now that we're all done with it, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna wrap it in some nice cellophane wrap. We're gonna go ahead and just let the dough sit for 30 minutes. While our dough was resting for 30 minutes, we went ahead and got our pasta roller set up with an attached cutter. So we're gonna go ahead and just cut off a piece of the dough, throw a little bit of flour on a, on a smooth surface. And we're just gonna lightly roll it out with a rolling pin just to get it started. Now that we have it to have it thin enough, we're just gonna go ahead and feed it through. Now that we have our pasta in our strainer, we're gonna go ahead and drop this in our salt water. We'll just give it a little toss and make sure it stays loosened. While the pasta is cooking for three minutes, we're gonna go ahead and get our brown butter sage sauce going. Butter. And we're gonna add our garlic, shallot, sage. So now we're gonna add some of these blistered tomatoes that we got out of our garden this morning. We're gonna just add a little bit of lemon. We're gonna check up on our noodles, drain them real nicely, put them in our sauce, give it a little. We're gonna just go ahead and pan it up. Hit a little with a little bit of pecorino, which is a whole sheep's milk cheese, and some fresh parsley. We have a brown butter sage with homemade pasta. Chef's Menu is brought to you by the Sustainable Food Systems Program at Rio Salado College. For today's recipe, please visit this address.